So all the breaths really intrigued me. Because, yes. Because sometimes I feel like some breaths can enhance. So, and you said all. I would say 99%. Okay. There's occasionally a time where you hear a breath, and that might be in the demo vocal. Like I said, we'll leave backgrounds in the back, and there might be a, a breath that's like if w when we get a demo background demo, it'll be a two track, and there'll be multiple harmonies within this two track. So there might be breaths within a singing part that I may not be able to take out. But on his sing, I take it all off, and the main reason is when he's doing stacks, those breaths as they stack on each other, they start to add up, and it starts to get like very like. <gasps> A lot of shit. So we'll have four stacks for the main note, and then every harmony is two stacks. So if we have a three-part harmony in the main, that's four breaths, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's twelve breaths on top of each other, and they're never just directly on top of each other. They're all hopping at different times, so they're all flaming on top of each other. So I could, in theory, make like a breath track and make one breath for every moment that there needs to be a breath. Um, but that might sound unnatural because you'd be like. It's one breath and then like 10 vocals play right after. You know what I mean? So he also doesn't like the breaths. So, and that was kind of from the beginning, but it was just cut off all the breaths. You know? Hey man, getting a cleaner mix may not be as hard as you think. It might just require a few little small edits. Let's check it out. What's up YouTube, audio engineers, producers, and artists. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. This channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. Now, during NAMM, I actually got a chance to sit down and catch up with Tizio, who is Chris Brown's engineer, and here's what he had to say about cleaning breaths out of a vocal before mixing. Now, I totally agree that sometimes just having a clean vocal by making some detailed edits can really change the sound of your mix especially if you are stacking and layering vocals those breaths can really start to add up and then if you have them all out of time it's just going to sound like a jarbled mess in today's video i'm going to show y'all a few techniques that i like to use when i'm cleaning up vocals and how to get the breaths out or just minimize them during your mix session let's check it out all right bet so here we are i got this session this is hard heart by the beautiful lydia caesar of course let's just go ahead and take a listen to what we got here i'm gonna play this first verse and see what breaths we can get out of here and show you a few different techniques to approach and cleaning this up. Um, one of them will include absolutely deleting the breaths, um, maybe also turning those down, and then muting the breaths just so they're still there and you can come back to them if needed. Let's take a listen. One by one, we play the seeds to our story. It's just begun. Colors begin to bloom, but our sun becomes the moon, and darkness covers everything. Love's lost in the wind. If you hurt me one more time, I don't know if we'll survive. Hold me close, don't push me away. I know you're afraid, so am I. Don't know when we got here. I can't explain how I let you in my heart, and you tear it. Alright, so during that first verse, we hear that Lydia is breathing a lot. So let's just dive right in and see what we can do to correct this. For one, whenever you're going to edit, make sure that you zoom in to the proper level. So I'm going to make my track height a little larger and then start to zoom in. And as I'm listening, I'm going to find whatever areas I think are problem areas for the breaths. And I'm going to either turn them down or get rid of them completely. All right, so even right after that, let's just solo this vocal for a second. I hear something. All right, she got a little after breath on that. I'm going to just come in, make a cut there, add a fade, and then in Pro Tools, if you double-click on that fade type, I can change this fade shape. So I'm just going to change to a slope like this that makes that breath turn down a little bit quicker at the start. Okay, and then it seems like I need to tighten it up a little bit more. One. Okay. One by one. We plant this. All right, and then we got a breath right there. We plant the seeds to our story. Is. On this one, I could do a couple of things. One, I'll probably just delete it. So I'm just going to drop my cursor and then hit the A key. This is going to delete everything from the start of the clip up until my insertion point. 
And of course, make sure you add a fade, a very small gentle fade at the start of all your edits. One by one, we plant the seeds to our story is just begun. Okay, so, and then that just begun, that's a big breath after that. Begun. All right, so I could come in. Let's see what it sounds like, delete it. And it's important, too, that you listen to this in context with the music. Some of the breaths may actually help the emotion uh, come through, so we don't want to just immediately get rid of everything. One by one. All right, so you see how that is a little, little too short. One by one, we plant the seeds to our story is just begun. Right, and then same here. I'm just cutting them a little bit too close, which is why I wanted to listen with the music. Just begun. Cool, but I do want to make that fade a little longer so that this little tail on begun is just not as pronounced. Another thing I could do is separate this clip and use clip gain to gain it down a little bit. So what story is just begun. All right, this little small one right before that start, I'm just going to delete that. Colors begin to bloom, but our sun becomes the moon, and darkness covers everything. Love's lost in the wind. Right, now this little breath here that binds these two lines together. Thing. Love's lost in the Maybe not get rid of it all the way, but especially since they're going to be more pronounced once the compression kicks in, let's just minimize it. So I'm going to separate this clip just by making that selection and hit the letter B. That's how you separate clips in Pro Tools. And then I'm going to use the clip gain to just turn that down a little bit to where it still feel you have that feeling. Everything love's lost in the wind. If you hurt me one more time, I don't know if we'll survive. Hold me. Right, and here's a big breath right here that we can probably just get rid of all together. And we're just gonna go ahead and clean those up. I don't know if we'll survive. Hold me. And then this little ending, I like to minimize those on her breath. She has a tendency to hold that little <laughs> at the end. Survive. Right, so much cleaner just by turning it down. Time, I don't know if we'll survive. Hold me close, don't push me away. I know you're afraid. So Some of them we have to leave, like in this section. It looks like it sounds like we might need to keep that. Push me away. I know you're afraid. I know you're afraid. But maybe even minimize it a little bit. Because again, once we start to uh compress and really squeeze down, this this stuff is gonna come out and become even more apparent. Yeah, and then let's turn this little section down too. I'm just separating and bringing the clip gain down. Now let's move on to an area of the background vocals. Background vocals tend to be even more important when you have stacks to really get rid of those breaths. Again, because once you're stacking up multiple tracks, she's not going to breathe in the same spot at every single time. So if you have four or five different stacks of vocals and they all gasp for air at around the same time, it can just create a, a noise, a, a, a dirt, a mud that we don't want in our mix. So let's go ahead and, and go to, toward this hook and listen to that and see where we can make some adjustments. All right, so I hear on these, let's focus on these four uh, background vocals here. Flowers can't grow when they're planted in stone. All right, so we can hear how, how much breath is in there. And then I'm going to even zoom my little waveforms in so I can see exactly. I can see these four breaths. Let's just go in here, and we can see how they're all slightly different timing. Right, so that's not going to reinforce each other very well. In this case, I'm gonna just make a selection over all of those, hit the delete key, right? And this is how I can edit fast. Make a selection again over those tails, command F so I can pull up a fade, and then do the same thing on this other side of the clip, command F, fade that, and let's listen to what we got. Flowers can't grow when they're planted in stone. Right, and we'll see that the lead actually has a little breath in there too, and we'll get rid of that. 
sometimes instead of just delete a note, if you feel like you might need to come back to that section uh, for any reason, you can also mute it. So if you make a selection and separate a clip by hitting the letter B, and if you've been hitting B and you're like, man, Wavy, that B ain't working for me, make sure that you have this command keyboard focus turned on. Right here, uh, this little AZ button, it needs to be lit yellow right here for you to use any one key shortcuts like the letter B to separate a clip. This needs to be active for you to use one key shortcuts like the letter B to separate a clip and then command M to mute that clip. Right, that sounds a whole lot cleaner. Right, and then some of these fades I feel like need to come up a little closer. Okay, and let's hear this in context with the music because that's what's important. Flowers can grow when they're planted in stone. So much cleaner. Let's keep listening. I gave my oh, 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 this one right here. This big breath coming in. I gave we don't need that. We don't need that. Let's get rid of that. In stone. I gave my all let down my guard. Soft as a rose, but the desert winds are blow. All right, and then here we go again. A little pause on these background vocals where some breaths are at. I'm just going to simply select, delete, get in here, tighten that up, make a fade across all of these so that they end at the same time. Fade to start. Trying to say what's left to me. God knows I gave the best to me. I still want to believe. <laughs> All right, so those are some quick techniques that I like to use to actually remove breaths from my Pro Tools session. You can chop them out, you can use clip gain to reduce them, or you can just mute them just in case you need to come back to that edit later. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like it and share this video. All right, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Be dope.